Isaac gets married. Ribbon in my bag. You're welcome to it if you want. What? Is it blue? Um, probably. Whoa! Lenny, be huh? careful! You are mushing all your flowers. Oh! You should add some pink flowers, too. Mm -hmm. Bracelets need color to be pretty. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see how pretty yours is. Aww. It doesn't look much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm not good at making bracelets, because princesses don't make bracelets, they wear them! Yeah! <laughs> Wowee! Aww. It's beautiful! <laughs> you think so? Yes! It's super duper beautiful! It's fit for a princess! <laughs> so pretty! <laughs> I dreamed to meet a prince! A love I was destined for, like in a fairy tale! <laughs> Sorry! I suggest you make it more sturdy! Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, kids. Hello. Luca! <laughs> you know, the Bible has a story about destined love, too. Want to hear it, Tansy? <gasps> With all my heart! Tell us the story! Hurry, hurry! <laughs> Hello, friends. Luca here. Today's story is about, ta-da, Isaac's destined love. Ooh, sounds exciting, right? Abraham wanted to find his adult son Isaac the perfect wife. He wished for his beloved son to have the kind of lasting and caring relationship that he and Sarah had. Duh. But people here don't have God in their hearts yet. Eliezer! Eliezer! Yes, Master? Come closer. I have a very important job for you. Go to my hometown and find a bride for Isaac. What? A bride? Then that means I'm getting married? Yippee! Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! <laughs> With ten camels in tow, Eliezer finally arrived at Abraham's hometown, Haran. So this is Haran, my master's hometown. <laughs> but how will I ever find a bride in this big town? Oh, how will I find her? Please help me find a bride for Isaac. God, I will go to that well now and ask for a drink of water. If a kind maiden gives me water, as well as my camels, then yes, I will take her to be the bride that you have chosen. Of water, please? Oh, a tired traveler! Of course! Here, you must be thirsty! Oh, thank you! Oh, poor things! I'll give your camel some water, too! Hooray! <gasps> I found her! Uh, 
Dear Miss, please tell me your name. My name is Rebecca, sir. Ah, for me? Mm -hmm. Me? Uh, no, I mean kind sir. Miss Rebecca, I would be grateful if I could rest at your home for a bit. No problem. Yes, of course. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> wow. God answered Eliezer's prayer. Abraham's wish came true. Uh, uh, uh? Rebecca's m mother? <laughs> Eliezer told Rebecca and her family why he was in Haran and how he was able to find Rebecca. My master's son Isaac is a strong and earnest young man. He is definitely a catch. What? Oh my! Mm -hmm. Miss Rebecca, please take my young master Isaac's hand in marriage. Hmm. If it's God's will... Then we have no reason to refuse. Great! Then come with me to Canaan right now, miss. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but to go so suddenly... So far away. Uh, <laughs> well, it's important to know what Rebecca wants. Oh, exactly. Uh, Rebecca, do you really want to rush things and go to Canaan now? Yes, I do! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's confident nature decided her destiny. Hmm. Is Eliezer really bringing my bride with him? Hmm? I wonder what Isaac is like. Is he dashing? Is he kind? Will she like me? Isaac and Rebecca fell in love and lived happily ever after. Wasn't that a beautiful story? Well, friends, let's meet again next time for another great story. Until then, be good and goodbye. <laughs>